Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Harry Potter potion. Let's see which one I get. Let's see. This is our pot of resin. The checklist does tell you right off the, ooh. This I really wanted to see, the flesh eating slug repellent. That one looks cool. Of course I do have the tie at the end. <laughs> which I don't love, but we'll figure it out. And that one does have a label. Not all of them do, but you can write on the label. So we're gonna mix some stuff in a cauldron and then dump it in the bottle. Well, that's cute. One of the other potions came with this too. Um, little wooden container with a handle. Put your leftovers in it. If they give you mica or anything else. And this came off, but I removed that anyways because it's really hard to pour with tags and handles in the way. Also have tongs. And a little scoopy thing to stir. I typically don't use that either. They do give you a cool wood table that snaps into this container. And then there's a plug in here too. Really cool packaging. And that plug makes the whole container look like a potion bottle. Oh, these are fun. Looks like green yarn or string-like material. And these look like shells, but they're brown and red. They look like flower petals mixed with like shells or like um, pistachio halves. It's kind of what it looks like. Here's the plug. So they all come with that. I think that's super cute. That goes on top of the lid. And our yarn is in here. And lastly, the bottle with the cork. So I already did the hard part, which is taking the lid off of here and the seal on the inside. That's really difficult for some reason. Um, and then for these, bottles. Typically if you take a toothpick or something you can pry them up nicely and then reseal them. Um, so I always do that first. It's cute. Okay that's probably gonna fall over but that's all right. And the bottle has the H on it and I thought that was cute. The other ones haven't had that. So it says to dump in these little things. I'm probably not gonna use all of them. I like keeping at least a few in that bottle for leftovers. But that's what they look like close up. So let's dump those in there. Then we will mix it with a toothpick. Got my toothpick here. A little stir. It's a nice green too. Okay. And then it says to put some of that yarn stuff in here. So let's take some of this out. See what it looks like. Definitely yarn. It's, it's all like long pieces. So I guess I should cut tinier pieces off. Probably rip it. And shove that in there. And again, it doesn't tell you ever like how much to put in here, but I kind of like a lot. I think I should add a little bit more than that because you can see it, but I think it looks better when you see more of it floating in there. And hopefully it's not gonna be hard to see because the resin is also green. And I might add some to the top depending on how that looks when the resin gets in there. They also did give a funnel that I forgot to show you because it was hidden in the package. And it says to fill it up to about here, probably because you have to have room for the cork. So let's just start dumping it in there and see what that looks like. All right. Oh, I love that green. Oh, 
And I'm assuming we're not going to have any leftover resin. But if we do, I'll make a mushroom with it. I have the mushroom silicone molds from the Lifestyle series. And that's what I've been doing with my extra resins. Making custom resin mushrooms. And we have so many like pinks and um, lighter colors like that. We don't often get a green resin. I think we're um, jammed up here. So let's stick that in there. There we go. Some of those pieces got stuck. Still not even halfway yet, so definitely going to use the rest, I'm sure. And they do have a Miniverse UV light now. I'll link that below in the description. That looks pretty neat. I think I did order it because for the newer resin, you need a stronger flashlight. So I'll be happy to show that to you guys when it gets here. But this is going to take a minute. I will show you what it looks like before I set it outside. It's kind of hard to show you because it's dark, but um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this and put a few more of those pieces to the top. Everything's kind of at the, not the bottom. Some of it is suspended, but I think it'll look better. And kind of what I suspected, it is a bit difficult to see the yarn. Oops. So let me use the toothpick maybe that has resin on it. There we go. We can get that to sit near the top. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> Shove that back down there. Let go of the toothpick. There we go. Perfect. Just drop a couple of those in. And then I will set that outside to cure and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's what it looks like. There is a big air bubble in it on the side, but that's okay. Um, is it moving? It's moving. This has been outside for 20 minutes. I guess it's not done curing. That's kind of fun though. You can see it move around. Um, but I like how everything's suspended. There is some stuff at the bottom. If I were to do this again, I think I would put way more yarn in. Um, at least a little bit more, but um, I like how it turned out. All I need to do now is put the cork on it and put a label on it. So they, did they put the label right over the front of the H? Well, that's what it looks like. We're not doing that. I like the H. i put it right back here. So let's pop that off if I can. There we go. Peel them off gently. Some of them are a little difficult to remove. And let's see, where do I want it? I think I want it exactly on the back side of that. But I also don't really want to cover up the cool shell. You can kind of still see it. Oop. I think that looks good. Press that on there nicely. Cute. Now I guess the string can go either way. <laughs> the air bubble's underneath it now. It's just traveling along in there. That's so funny. I'll set it back out later. Um, some of these, I try to keep these intact. I don't know why, I just think they're cute. But some of the strings are very hard to get off of here out ripping it or bending it so that you can slide them off. There we go. 
So we're gonna wrap this a bunch and it has some of the string hanging down, but off to the side. So what I've been doing is I leave some hanging off because I'm gonna need to tie it and I hold onto that while I wrap this. And then let's bring it over here. I feel like tying's definitely the worst part of all of this. But at least this one isn't fancy tying like that one potion I had to do. Also doesn't help when it's on the table. Let's see, that's approximately where it should go. So I'm gonna pull real tight. We're throwing this table aside. <laughs> it's too hard. And I have been putting a drop of resin on the end of the string um, where I'm tying the knot. That way it won't come undone. And sometimes you can still kind of see it, but this is a light green. I'm not gonna put much on it. I'm gonna do that now, cure it, and I'll come back when I cut it so I can show you the final product. This was such an interesting jar to do because I left this outside 15 minutes first time. That bubble was still moving, which I love the bubble. And I put it outside for another like 20 minutes, still was moving. It is a very overcast day. It says it's a moderate level of UV outside, so I think that's why. So I took um, my flashlight and I just turned it on and set it under there. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it. Left it on there for probably like another 20 minutes and it is definitely cured now. Um, I love this one. I like the color. I like the stuff suspended in it. I did cut one side of the string. They do show it more like tethered looking. I think they want you to like twist these maybe. Let me see if I get my finger wet if they'll stick better. Yeah. They kind of look more like twisted or frayed. I just, there you go. I just kind of want mine to really like hang down. Or that kind of looks cool too and just knot it up on the side. They have theirs pretty long. I'm gonna cut this one maybe about here. If you guys have any tips for like the string or how to make it lay flat, I guess I could put a touch of resin on that. I put a dot of resin right there. Looks a little wet, just slightly darker, and I think that will help from it coming unraveled. But overall, this is how it turned out. I think it's really cute. Probably my, one of my favorites from this set. I've done about half of them so far, and I do plan on getting the whole set, including those rares. Those rares are supposed to be released in a wave too, which I hate when they do that. But I will definitely be on the hunt for them, and yeah, I pretty much collect all of them. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned if you're interested in watching me build more. Bye guys!